Good morning, Mr. Rod How are you, sir? I'm doing good, man. I'm, I'm trying to keep safe in this pandemic, man. How are you, man? Oh, Lord, I'm doing the same thing as well. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's rough out there, but with, with the almighty strength and guidance, you know what I mean? We're going to come, we're going to reach through. Most definitely, most definitely, Rayvon. Most definitely, man. Where, where, where are we finding you right now? Where in the world are you? Actually, I'm, I'm right here in New York City. Yes, know? sir. Kind of under lockdown as well. It's yeah. Kinda, Waiting for the storm to pass, you know? Yeah, man. man. Well, while you're there, we know you're doing some work because we realize that there's a hot new single we've been uh, talking about, one called I See You. Tell me about I See You, man. What about I See You? Yes. Yes, yes. It's a new single, I See You. It's uh, myself and a, and a good artist friend of mine out, out, of, um, in, the, out in the Bronx called Sugar Bear. Sugar and Bear. the song is doing, yeah, man, the song is doing extremely well. Is 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 tithering on the crossover line, right? Working the uh, uh, you know, you know, from grounds up, and um, the video is done as well. The video will have been handled to BBC and Yo MTV, and you know, the, the response has been tremendously great. You know, we're getting some some play on um, a lot of major stations as well, especially I in the New York City see. area. Yeah. This I see you, Raven and Sugar Bear. You just see nothing. Want put your loving girl in a captain. Flirting with you get me well active. Emotions spread like you read the active. Natural affinity me all feel you. Want all your hope and kiss me you. Show me the love you want. our friend Sugar Bear. We got Raven on the line on the Daybreak Show today. Raven, you're no you're no stranger to success, man. Uh, you did it you did it by yourself. You did it well. You're still doing it by yourself. And uh, you had a good run with Shaggy. Uh, how are things with you and Shaggy these, man? Everything still good? Yeah, man. Everything's still good. You know, people reacting to that remix of It Wasn't Me. Yeah. She just played earlier. And also, there was one that came out last year on Shaggy's album, Wagwan. It's called um, When She Loves Me. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Check out that one as well. <laughs> uh, uh, how did the whole teaming up with Shaggy got started with Raven and Shaggy? Because you're from Barbados, Raven. You're from Barbados. Yeah. So you moved from Barbados to New York. Yes, to New York City. New York is a big melting pot with the whole Caribbean community. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I was in a studio called Living Room Studio, you know, uh, recording. And about four years later, after I started recording in that studio, you know, um, Shaggy came there to do a song as a local artist as well and the producer suggested that we do a song together a collaboration and when we did that collaboration the energy and the chemistry was just so great that we just took it and just you know just ran we went with it to other places you know other producers other studios and then we'll kind of make it you know you know we made history yeah and you made you, you, man, look at look at what you've done i mean you're on the diamond the platinum double platinum everything selling album hot shot now on the remix I mean, Angel was a big hit, man. 
Yeah, man, I'm a big up all the fans and the, and the lovers of music for the support over the years. Because especially that song right there, it really kind of brought us to the top of the mountain. You know what yeah. I mean? You can see. Yeah, we have, you know, simultaneous number one song. I mean, number one song across, you know, the globe. And, you know, it kind of introduced you know, introduce us to a bigger, more wider audience as far as music is concerned. Hey, we got Raven on the line right now, international star Raven. You know Raven from the combinations with Shaggy and Raven and Bashmen Party with Red Fox and all. But you know, Raven, um, Jamaica seem to claim you more than Barbados, man. When I hear Barbados, I show off about Raven like a wee. Jamaicans are show off about Raven, Rasta. Well, 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 the girls don't love their Ray Ray. What's going on, Bayesian girls? What happened? <laughs> Jamaican girls gone with you, man. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Ron, you're trouble enough. Don't get me in trouble. No, no, you are going on, man. No, listen to me. I don't hear, me hear Bajans are, are, are going for Raven like us Jamaicans. Even when we're, even when we're on the Jamra cruise, the most of Jamaican girls here about out for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The whole entire Caribbean, you know. I get Yeah. So when was the last time you went back to Barbados? When was the last time you Raven in Barbados? Um, the last time was about four, four years ago. Uh? Four years ago. Yeah, yeah, so it's, a, it's, a, it's time to really, you know, I mean, we need to put on a big concert out here. Honestly speaking, we need to put on a nice concert in, 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 in Barbados, you know. We need to do a Caribbean tour. Long time we not tour the Caribbean. Do, do artists tour the Caribbean? We need to tour the Caribbean. <laughs> Yeah, and do all that little, you run up well uh, with, with corona right now. Uh, how, how the virus thing affecting you and your whole life, Raven? Because you're always on the go. Uh, brother, it, it popped me up. It popped me up as far as flying out to go do shows and, you know, concerts and interacting with a lot of the fans. But, I mean, you know, we have to work with the internet right now. You know what I mean? So the internet is here. We could do a lot of virtual parties and a lot of virtual interactions. And we're doing it that way until the Almighty is all right. <laughs> ready to lift up this and we go again. Yeah, you know, no. Make use of the time, you know, whether I'm staying at the studio and, you know, do some more work, producing-wise, songwriting-wise, and these things, and, you know, and promote the song that's currently doing well, because in in the midst of the whole corona, I'm, you know, I'm still, you know, I'm still getting blessed with some sort of success, so, you know, I have to be grateful for that as well, and just work it from that standpoint, you know? Well, how, how has it affected you personally? You know anybody personally that have passed away from the coronavirus? Because you, you're in New York City, man, and that was like the epicenter for a long time. Yeah, yeah man, yeah, man. When it, start, when it first started, I, I lost, like, three good bridges so far. We lost three good bridges in the, in the last four months, you know what I mean? So my condolences condolences to their families and stuff and yeah man it affected me personally because I didn't expect to you know it's like one day you see them or they're at a they're at an event with you and the next thing you hear that they're in the hospital hospital and then the next thing you hear they're, they're and back. gone from corona man yeah they're gone from corona so you know condolences to all the families that's been affected by it and hopefully we, we, we get to pull through this very fast yeah, a lot of countries are say they find they, they find vaccine and all of that, but we're just hoping for the best, man. And we have to just keep safe in the meantime, you know. Yeah. Superstar Raven is on the line. Here's another one from Raven. As man said, during the Corona crisis, he's still keeping busy. Here he is in a nice remix, Raven featuring Sugar Bear again. This one is called "Now That We Found Love." What are we gonna do with it?
and he's loved all over the world. And a lot of people know him from Shaggy and Raven. But he's got a whole he's got a whole catalog all by himself and a whole set of fans and all by himself, I'm telling you, man. So Raven, you got your own record label now? So I, I heard from a friend of mine that you got your own record label right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's, it's called GTC Entertainment. G G T C yeah. For yes, it stands for Get That Cheddar. Get it's that cheddar. G T G T G T C. Get that cheddar records. Yes. <laughs> Get that cheddar records, man. Your first yeah, Billboard yeah, song with three different charge position was No Guns, No Murder, produced by Funk Master Flex. When was that? Yes. And it was actually a DJ song. I was DJing on that song. Because a lot of people know me for singing. Yeah. But they don't know that I DJ as well. And my first <laughs> Billboard entry was a DJ song produced by Flex called No Guns, No Murder. No yeah, it, it actually got some play in Jamaica, you know. Let me hear a piece of it. Okay, we don't remember that tune. Give, give, give me a piece of that tune, Ray. We got Raven on the line right now. It's 9.43 a.m. Come in, Ray. Laddie, laddie, we love to party. We don't cause trouble and we don't bother nobody. We're just some men that sound the mic. And when we rock the microphone and we rock the mic, right? Blah! No one no guns and no murder. Youth and youth man must stick together. The puppy in our life give thanks to the father. Bad man business in our record. Yeah. Who don't they done? Come with the fun. In our decision, I just got up. What you do? Murdering people again. Fun times again, man. May I tell you, tell all the friends, tell all the friends. Bring the Anakin to the van jail. Mr. River talking. Bring all the owners down. Get one, Sony Young, for the track rasta. Watch it now, to all the party people there. Laddy daddy, we love to party. We don't cause trouble and we don't bother nobody. We just some men we own the mic. And when we rock the microphone, and we rock the mic right. Don't want no phone now, no murder. You tell me what man must think to. Wait, so this took it to the billboard charts. Yes, to the billboard. <laughs> oh yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> lovely man. So this was yeah, like, man. this was like your first major hit, Raven. That was my first major. Hit. That was actually '94. 1994. 1994, my brother. And we know Punk Master Flex, so we don't know. So this was uh, this was this was this was big from the moment from the get go. Yeah, man, right out the box. You know? Yeah, can, can you imagine if this was? Yeah, Say that again. Yeah. No, I was just saying, let's big up the fan that we support it. Yeah, Fuck out till now, Rasta. I'm saying to myself, can you imagine if this was on GTC Records, man? Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, but it's not now before the time, you know. It's a, it's a growth. It's a music business and an artist, you know, it's a growing thing. You have to grow through it. And if you if you ex expect to be, you know, in it for a long journey, a, the long haul, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna expand, and you're gonna, you're gonna experience different things, and you're gonna want to move in different directions because, you know, no artist that started 20 years ago is in the same place as being an artist. They had to make some kind of expansion because that's what the music dictates. That's what the business dictates. I'm listening to you talking right now as you talk live to Raven. I'm saying to myself, you're from Barbados. How did your love for Jamaica, um, you know, get so strong that you don't know so? I thought I'd be here singing, "Wine your waist, girl, wine your." <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually, in 2001, I mean, 2010, I put out a, a Rayvon solo album, and the the, 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 the the first track over it was actually a Calypso song called Back It Up. But you know, I have a Calypso <laughs> song. Don't let them title them. Back It Up. You, you, you have a soca song? I got a soca song. It's produced from a, um, a, 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 a producer from Trinidad, Beaver. Okay. Beaver out of Trinidad. He produced that song. So that's, you know, that's one of my one and or two, you know, type of soca songs. Soca songs. Well, the people in Barbados must be proud of you, man, because at least you gave them a soca song, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to give them a couple of soca sacks. Okay, a couple of soca sacks. Yeah, this one. Welcome to Raven School of Winery. First lesson, back it up. All right, come on. Right foot, spread. And left foot, spread. Okay. Now spread. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Sexy girl, you're from Trinidad. I want you to just back it up on day. Sexy. Now, you still sound Jamaican on it, man. You should have put on the accent, man. You still sound Jamaican You still sound Jamaican on it, all right. You still sound Jamaican at it, man. Which, which was your first, when was the first time you realized, Raven, as an artist, you're boss of Jamaica now? Because this is, this is like the ultimate goal of somebody who's not from Jamaica. When did you, when did it finally occur to you to your boss of Yard, you know? When, 
myself and Shaggy walk out on the stage called Sting. Yeah. You see, we walk out on the stage, the Sting stage. Yeah. And I will sing about three songs. So I'm sing Rivers of Babylon and I see nothing but light and I hear it's a boy. Boy. Yeah, man. I can't keep this going. Yeah. <laughs> what year was this? What, what year was this? That was about 94, you know. Yeah, man, that was about 94. Yeah, we only did like one thing. Yeah. You know, the whole course of the thing. And then the rest was some fest. Which tune did have on the ground at the time? Bashman Party? No, no, that's Rivers, Rivers of Babylon and a song called Big Up. Oh, oh, so see. Two songs we did about. And, and Shaggy did have um, um, Carolina. Rivers of Babylon was on the same rhythm as Carolina. So we did just have really like two songs, I push them kind of. Well, I'm going to be talking to you because you know, I can't remember Rivers of Babylon in Arasta, but I'm going to try something. <laughs> that was my first real record, actually. Yeah, uh, let's see, let's see. So when, this is this is what gave you a first forward on Sting, 94. Yeah, man. All right. You know what save you because this is a traditional song. The people already didn't know the song, and that's save you. Know? <laughs> that's you. They already knew the song. They was like, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. It was an introduction. Yeah. Introduction, rather. So, so what did you give them after that? After you get the rivers of Babylon, why is it go for after that? Let me see if the people they really get a real forward. No, rivers of Babylon was the last song. You know. Really, let me tell you, so I just three three songs we both ever singing. You know, oh, so I shag it. Okay. Tell us something. You have some artists who don't make it through the first song. <laughs> okay. Come on. All right. All right. All right. I, I give you that. I give We're talking it. about Sting. We're talking about Sting, right? Come on. <laughs> all right. All right. I chew, man. You get a nice forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just say everything when you have Shaggy cool. What last is you Shaggy? Yo, I actually, we, we, we did a, um, a virtual release party for that. For he, he did a Hot Shot 2020, just release. Yeah. Like uh, last month, so we did a um, virtual party, and um, so I think um, this is selling a lot of these different um, outlets, and it exclusively. So with okay. myself, the great thing from England and, and Shaggy, the kind of yeah, nice of the place. Um, yeah, nice stuff, you know. Oh, you made one. Did um, the, the bachelor with myself, Shaggy, and Spice as well. So yeah, man, everything great, man. We still at work, we still do the thing. We're still putting out good songs, you know what I mean? And, you know, like, you know, I think the fans expect growth from our artists. Any artist that's been in the business over 20 years, they expect growth. They don't expect to see them in the same place. Man, have you been in it 20 years? And it seemed like 20 years, though, but hey. <laughs> it's been it seems like 20 it's... years, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, it does seem like yesterday, man. Raven. Raven, I want to be with my friend Sugar Beer the beer. Oh gosh, man, that's my brother for life. But I just got a question that even the ladies on the Daybreak Show wants me to ask you. Um, what is it with animals, man? Um, first time we heard about you, you team up with an animal named Shaggy. And then after that, you were with an animal named Red Fox. And now it's the beer. <laughs> well, go on. Yeah, so, 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 so we didn't have the dog. <laughs> We didn't have the beer. Oh, hold on. I was sang with another artist named Mad Lion. You know, so I'm a lion. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Lion. <laughs> yeah, no. We're proud of you, man. And uh, we, we accept you as Jamaican, so you don't know. You have dual citizenship, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One love. Yeah, man. Give thanks to everybody in Jamaica listening right now. And everybody listening to the Mellow FM, you know, the Daybreak Show with Ron Machete. Yeah, man. Big, Big up, man. Raven. I tell you, youth. So the latest single is called I See You, featuring a man called Beer. And this is the hottest single. How, how, do, how do people find you on social media? What, what do we look for? How, how do we search? Yeah, man. Everybody can find me at the number one, Raven. So that's the number one, R-A-Y-V-O-N. That's uh, IG, that's um, Twitter, the SoundCloud, the YouTube channel, and um, the, the Facebook is a little bit different. It's called the Real Raver. You know what I mean? Also Spotify, Raven as well. All right. So, but it's the it's the number one, Raven. Yeah, the number one, yeah, one first, and then R A Y V O N. One Raven. One Raven. One. Yes, so you just put in one, the number one, Raven. R A Y V O N. Are you thinking on a road? Raven, it's a pleasure, brother. Right. Now, for big up one more person, big up. You know, my little daughter listening right now, Raven. 
Ravenick, oh wow, man, come on, Ravenick. Right, right here today. How you doing, Princess Ravenick? <laughs>